Hello all, uh, welcome to the uh, VAPT demo session. Uh, so from today onwards, you know, we'll be conducting the three demo sessions for you to, you know, uh, understand uh, how we are going to continue the further sessions and also the way, you know, uh, we uh, deliver the training to you. You will, you will be able to understand that, right? Uh, so I can see that, you know, in, in the comments, uh, many people are like few people are experienced and, uh, you know, few people are uh, freshers, right? So it's all, uh, you know, combined. So we have also designed this course in the same way, guys. You know, anyone who is fresher wanted to get into, uh, you know, cybersecurity as a, a into a vulnerability assessment or, or, or a penetration tester. And they can directly get started with this particular course because we have designed that uh, we, because we have designed this course in a such a way that it starts from the basics and it will take you till the advanced level okay directly you will be able to uh, you know apply for the VAPT roles in the organization right um, I'm sharing my screen just let me know if you guys can able to see this screen or not Guys, uh, are you able to see my screen? This is hi. OK, OK, perfect. Fine, guys. So first of all, I'll uh, you know start this course with my intro, right? So my name is Sai. I have uh, total seven years of experience into the information security. And my expertise into VAPT. Okay, I'm working as a senior consultant um, for one of the uh, MNC. So I, I take care of, uh, you know, vulnerability assessment, network penetration testing, web application, API, mobile, and also I do threat modeling. And I am also recently started involving into doing the security architecture review and other part. And this is also some of the, you know, certification which I have. And I'll also be delivering the trainings uh, in my leisure time okay so i'm i'm doing this training from last uh, uh, 6 years now right so this is all about my uh, background uh, we'll you know just dive into the course structure guys okay uh, then afterward I'll, then afterwards i'll explain for the people who are freshers here you know I'll, I'll i'll just make them understand what is this course is all about and what kind of a, you know uh, things we'll get it um, you know, once we complete this course, like about the jobs, uh, you know, um, and about the demand, uh, you know, all about this particular VAPT course, we'll discuss it. So I have designed this course uh, in a four different parts, right? Uh, anyone who is even working or a fresher wanted to get into cybersecurity, they must have some of the prerequisites. Correct. Ever the cyber security gravel and cut naro, while like you, fundamental skills are entry. Monday gravel. Suppose I put me um terminology. But ever the freshers are naro, while like cyber security basic terminology could idea on that. Suppose I put vulnerability and matter to naro, exploit and matter to naro. Okay, na CVS score and naan konde. So while like one the basic fundamental terminologies kani, networking concepts kani, right? Networking and everything. It is one of the essential skill, right? And the country manamu, okay, manchi ethical hacker or penetration tester, information security consultant, kava land kuna puro, okay na. So manam hacker mindset nartan just ko ali atlant attacks jargu to nae, network logani, uh, you know, application logani. So you know, it is mandatory to have the basic networking skills. And also, we use an operating system called as a Linux operating system, Kali Linux operating system. Okay, now it is specially designed for information security people to perform the security-related assessments like penetration testing or forensic reverse engineering kind of a thing, right? And the lab setup part. So, e prerequisites are the first cover just when we feel you know we are more confident. Okay, when we have you know all the basic knowledge then we will actually get you know start with the training okay so here we will learn about 
ద పెనిట్రేషన్ టెస్టింగ్ మెథడాలజీ ఫస్ట్ పెనిట్రేషన్ టెస్టింగ్ అంటే ఏంటి డిఫరెంట్ మెథడాలజీస్ ఓకేనా ఒక్కొక్క స్టెప్లో ఒక్కొక్క ఫేస్ ఆఫ్ ది పెనిట్రేషన్ టెస్టింగ్లో మనము ఎవరితోటి ఇంటరాక్ట్ అవుతాము ఎక్కడ నుంచి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ తీసుకుంటాము ఏ ఫేస్లో ఎట్లాంటి టూల్స్ వాడతాము ఓకేనా ఎట్లాంటి డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ చేస్తాము రిపోర్ట్స్ ఎట్లా రాస్తాము ఇవన్నీ ఒక 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 స్ట్రీమ్ లైన్గా మన కోర్సులో ఫస్ట్ పెనిట్రేషన్ టెస్టింగ్ మెథడాలజీ నేర్చుకుంటాము ప్లస్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ టెస్టింగ్స్ ఓకేనా మనకు బ్లాక్ బాక్స్ టెస్ట్ ఉంటుంది వైట్ బాక్స్ టెస్ట్ ఉంటుంది గ్రే బాక్సింగ్ టెస్ట్ గ్రే బాక్స్ టెస్టింగ్ ఉంటుంది సో డిఫరెన్స్ ఏంటి ఏ టూల్స్ ఎక్కడ వాడతాము రైట్ సో పెనిట్రేషన్ టెస్టింగ్కి సంబంధించిన మొత్తం బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ రైట్ దానికి సంబంధించిన టూల్స్ మెథడాలజీస్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ టెస్టింగ్ అప్రోచెస్ రైట్ ఎసెన్షియల్ స్కిల్స్ టు గెట్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇన్ టు ది పెనిట్రేషన్ టెస్టింగ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ది థింగ్స్ విల్ బి కవర్డ్ హియర్ ఓకే after that we are going to apply the same penetration testing methodology for network okay manaku ikkada basic necessary skills penetration testing paina manaku complete hold ochin tarvata we will get into the network penetration testing right mana network penetration testing lo em chestam ante we will identify and exploit the vulnerabilities okay through the network or in the network right so we will learn all the networking related attacks over here like how to perform the information gathering port scanning vulnerability assessment uh, exploiting post exploitation okay related to the network part and then same thing we are also going to learn for web application penetration testing as well right so idi whole course structure i think meku module by module topic by topic uh, course content meku already coordinator already ichuntadu if in case if he is not given to you you can let us know we will share you the complete course content but i am just giving you a kind of a you know summary over here right yeah uh, can, can i ask one question sai quickly yeah yeah uh so this course will be in english or because you are speaking some different language which i don't understand correctly uh-huh. so most of the audience are uh, telugu so that's the reason for them i am just repeating in telugu but of course this course will be in english only yeah, whenever okay. it is required to make them understand because i feel there are freshers who are not even aware of uh, basic things for them mm-hmm. i am helping them to understand it understand that yeah so so i bit in between you are uh, speaking in, in telugu we are a little bit confusing so little bit so this, this course is in english because i feel that okay there okay. are freshers who are uh, you know yeah, yeah, i got telugu I background i am just repeating it okay okay right thank you You're okay. yeah so we'll start with what is cyber security first right so what is cyber security is it is a practice of protecting all the valuable things okay when i say all the valuable things which has some sort of a worth when i say computer server mobile devices network infrastructure data or some sort of a program application all of the things <laughs> guys you guys have to mute please mute yourself if you have any questions you can put down in the chat or you can ask me after the at the end of the uh, you know at the end of this uh, uh, particular today session i'll open the forum for the questions and then i'll take up the questions guys right so yeah let understand this term called cyber security first because vapt also falls into the cyber security itself so when i say cyber security cyber security is a practice of protecting uh computers servers mobile devices networks data uh, programs from the attackers okay like malicious attack attackers or uh, you know from the unauthorized uh, access right because all these are the assets for the organization which has some kind of a value in it right 
so we use this cyber security to implement the security best practices to protect against the all the attacks or unauthorized accesses right and it is encompass a wide range of strategies tools and practices designed to safeguard the digital systems and information from threats such as hacking malware data breaches and etc right let's say you have your own server or or some sort of a server which is uh, running a web application for an example right so anyone can able to access a server right because you 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 yourself is exposing that server to the internet to access the people uh, to, to provide the web services to the people if in case that particular web server has let's say some sort of a ports open and there are some vulnerabilities are sitting in it due to you know poor administration uh, you know you guys are not running any sort of a patch management so easily someone like a malicious hacker identifies the issues in that server and they break into your system and they can deface your entire web application so that your customers will be redirected to some other place uh, or you will be losing your business the the, the consequences are uh you know vast you know according to their business what they do it correct so one of the domain that we are covering is vapt okay so here we have va which is called as a vulnerability assessment and pt penetration testing these two important processes in the cyber security will help you to identify the security weaknesses in the system right so what we do in the uh, we what we are going to learn uh, in the vapt courses we are going to learn how to identify and address the security weaknesses in the system like uh, you know uh, we are you know we, we work for some organization but of course we use all the techniques tools like a real hacker to perform the attack on the uh, network or a system or a server but whenever we identify any loopholes or vulnerabilities we will help the respective team or owner of that particular asset by giving the remediations to remediations by telling them hey go and use the security practice or uh, you know apply the patches to it so that outsider cannot able to exploit it okay so right that is what cyber security is now let's you know uh, learn this uh, vapt in a detailed way bit, you know let's let's understand this what is uh, you know va in a detailed way and what is pt in a you know bit detailed way right so vulnerability assessment has i said what we do in the vulnerability assessment we identify the potential security weaknesses in the system network or in the or in the application proactively right when i say proactively we identify the issues before someone like an attacker identifies and exploit them we identifies and tell the team to remediate those issues right so it helps the organization to find the vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers but does not involve actively exploiting them okay we will just identify the issues hey boss you know uh, all these assets have so on so critical issues we have to go and patch it or else you know someone from the outside may possibly exploit them and take the advantage of it that is what we do it in the vulnerability assessment so the vulnerability assessment happens uh, using the automated tools like i can say the process we use it to identify the vulnerabilities is scanning so we scan all the organization assets uh, with the tools like uh, nessus qualis or rapid7 there are you know these these all some of the major uh, vulnerability assessment tools what we have and those tools uh, will give you all the vulnerabilities for us uh, okay i'll also teach you how to identify the vulnerabilities manually then only i'll bring you to the Uh, tools like nessus and qualis because they are mostly 
GUI based tools, graphical user interface tools. Okay, it's like going and selecting the assets and running the scans. But what actually happening when you initiate the scan in the background, you won't be able to understand it. Uh, even I'm, you know, included those things, uh, those topics in the course in a such a way that I'll teach you when you initiate a scan, what's happening in the background in a packet level, like how the three-way hand check happens, how uh, you know it'll identify the port status as open, closed, kind of a thing. It, I mean, maybe experienced people will understand that, but okay, let's not get into that much technical part. But I've designed this course in a such a way that you will be able to understand the things, uh, you know, in, in, uh, you will be able to understand the things in a packet level so that you are not going to forget uh, any time and you will be able to answer in the uh, interviews as well right and okay this is the one part vulnerability assessment and when it comes to penetration testing right so in pen testing what we do you know we will go one step ahead okay we actually see that identified issue can be exploited or not right penetration testing goes a step further by simulating a real world attack on a system to see if the identified vulnerability can be actually exploited or not telling that okay vulnerability is existed is a one part okay but going and exploiting that vulnerability and checking if someone can able to enter through it in the same way is what penetration testing right so in a pen test the tester acts like a attacker or hacker try to break the system to find and fix the weaknesses before a real attacker does, right? Suppose if you're creating a web application, banking application, before you, uh, you know, before you actually put that application into the live network, that application will be handed over to the security team like you, uh, you know, penetration testers. You will be using all your tools, techniques, uh, and you will be actually, you know, uh, simulating the real world cyber attack or real world attack on that particular application to see if you can able to penetrate, uh, you know, the application or find some sort of a weaknesses in it, right? If you can able to find it, okay, whatever the vulnerabilities that we have identified, we will give that issues to the security team. They will fix it, then they will move it to the next phase. Right, you understand it. The the process of uh, the process and what we do it in the VNPT. So vulnerability assessment. So, when I mean just the organization, your assets unneed me. Scan jaisi a loophole suna yo kan kunda. Kan koni wala yo ka system owner ki notify jasta. Okay, e vulnerability suna hi, e weaknesses suna hi. E vidne mana mo mitigate check pote, ante patch check pote. Uh, by the wall, by, like, hackers what me advantage this can exploit chess around Japan other penetration testing low uh, identify now identify in a vulnerability is the manamo real gun exploit Jesse check just I mean exploit a bula kada on Japan right so this is the difference guys between the VAPT so of course VA is a pra, VA is part of the uh, penetration testing methodology only so I'll teach you that um, you know, how do we perform the vulnerability assessments, uh, scans on the network and application? Okay, by using the, like as I mentioned, tools like Nessus, uh, Qualys, or Bob Suite. Right? So, right? So, I think I have explained this slide. The purpose of doing the vulnerability assessment is to identify and classify the vulnerabilities so that you will actually get to know, uh, you know, which one to. Uh, work on immediately. I mean, it's like prioritizing the vulnerabilities, right? If something is very critical, which is running on the, uh, you know, public, uh, you know, facing network, that has to be, you know, uh, that has to be fixed immediately, right? So for this, we use the process of uh, performing the scans and, you know, uh, performing the scans with the automated tools and whatever the vulnerabilities that we will get it, we will document it and we will send it to the right team to take the actions on it with the remediations we will support them hey uh, you know this is a remediation that you need to apply for fixing this issue we will we'll also give you the remediations to it and penetration testing of course as i said we will actually work like a real attacker and we will see 
the identified issues or implemented security controls are effectively securing or helping us to secure the networks and systems or not. So we use the penetration testing process over here, which starts with planning, because when you do pen testing, you will have your own scope. Okay, let's say you're working for so and so organization. Let's say they have their own uh, applications or a network or you know some of the uh, IoT devices. So you will you will be given the list of assets you know which you need to perform the assessment. That is what your scope is. Then you do information gathering about those scope and you identify the vulnerabilities in it and you exploit those vulnerabilities and see till what extent you will be able to break into the system. Okay, and then everything whatever you have done, you need to create a document with all the list of identified vulnerabilities. Right. I mean, at the end, what they expect, I mean, when they say uh, the client whom you're working for is a report. So you should write a proper report by including all your vulnerabilities in it. Right. So, yeah, they'll go through the vulnerabilities and they'll start applying the remediations. If in case, if they feel something, some help is required from you to replicate the, uh, you know, attack scenario or uh, maybe you know help them to understand what sort of uh, remediations would be good fit for them as per the network infrastructure you can involve with them and help them right so here we use the tools like metasploit burp feed and map wireshark there are a lot more tools are there i have listed few of them over here right yeah i think by now you understand what is the difference between the va and pt Correct. VA is to identify and classify the vulnerabilities. PT is one step, you know, going one step ahead and performing the exploitation and verifying whether those identified actual vulnerabilities can be exploited or not. So vulnerability assessment mostly it happens with the automated tools, right? As I said, Nessus and Qualys just give the IP address, install the scanner and run this scan. Okay, it has all the vulnerability detection logic and as per the information which it gets uh, while it is performing the scan, if something is matches, it tells that, okay, this is a vulnerability. Okay, and penetration testing, mostly we do it with the manual only, right? Because, um, you know, uh, when you do manual, you will actually get to know, uh, I mean, automated, Pen testing also we can do it, but as per the stats, what we have, right? So when you use an automated tools for the penetration testing, it will only give you 45 to 50 percent of the vulnerabilities. The remaining, you know, percentage of the vulnerabilities, uh, you know, we need to go and test it manually. Some of the vulnerabilities, like business logic vulnerabilities, okay, or some of the vulnerabilities, uh, you know, maybe let's say. Uh, broken access control related ones. So some of the business logic vulnerabilities cannot be understood by this, uh, you know, automated tools, right? So this is the difference, guys, uh, between the vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. Okay. So why it is so important, right? What are the key benefits once we learn this course, uh, right? why the companies will have the VAPT, like vulnerability assessment or penetration testers uh, in their organization, right? Because these guys will help them to identify the security weaknesses before someone exploits it, correct? And it help them to enhance their security posture, correct? If, if, if they feel that, okay, authentication, there is no two-factor authentication is there or there is no account record policy is there let's say there is no captcha so as a security person we know that these all the various types of attacks could be possible on the authentication right we'll tell them hey implement the security the security over there right it helps the it helps the it helps the organization to implement the security uh, you know more security Okay, they can enhance the security posture. And when they deal with various types of information, 
right? Suppose if you are dealing with some sort of a bank, they have to be compliant with their own regulatory. Correct. So when I say regulatory, let's say we have PCI DSS. When someone is using the credit card related information, they have to be compliant with PCI DSS. Or someone who is working with Europe, they have to be compliant with GDPR, right? So we have various regulatory regulators, you know, which the organization has to be compliant with them. Okay, to not to, uh, you know, pay any sort of uh, fines, a kind of a thing, right? So it it also help them to be compliant and protect the uh, reputation, which is very very important. Let's say if you will you will you go and uh, buy something or do business with someone uh, whose website or whose company got data breached? No one wants to, right? No one wants to put their uh, business or information into the risk right so when you are developing a secure product okay so of course people and you will have your own reputation and it, it will it will help them to prevent all the uh, data breaches and damage okay uh, and the reputation correct and also it saves a lot of money as well right after security incident going and spending a money for security and investigating it i mean this is all gone now right companies are actually spending their money uh, allocating the good budget for the security now to because everyone wants to create the secure product right because of the kind of a data breaches attacks which are uh, rapidly growing year on year right uh, they don't want it to be you know taking the reactive approach so everybody is spending the money for proactive approach right so if that is happening of course the, this the data breaches will not happen and the companies will also save the lot of money correct let's say if you're not uh, be compliant with some sort of a regulatory okay what happens you will not knowing how much fine they will be uh, how much fine they'll be you know putting you on right you have to pay a lot of fines if in case if you are following the security regulators well, you will save a lot of money. Correct. So of course companies now hiring for all the security people, right? And when it comes to, I think now you got the overall uh, core structure and what is the difference between the VA and also PT. You know how it is going to help them, how it is going to help the organizations too. Right, in, uh, save the money, reputation, and etc. Correct. So, by the end of this course, right? Uh, by the end of this course, guys, you are going to understand the fundamentals of the vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. Okay, for network and a web application, right? Uh, you will be able to identify and exploit common network and web application vulnerabilities and you will have a complete hands-on experience with the industry standard tools and techniques okay we will create our own lab i'll show you that lab in a minute so we will practice first here okay all the different types of tools and techniques then of course you know you can directly use them in the real time once you have a good experience of handling them and at the end as i said reporting uh, so you will learn how to create the detailed and effective vulnerability reports and you can directly apply these skills in the real world scenario right these are all the some of the takeaways i can say that you can expect from this particular course okay right and you might be having different questions in your mind or some of you already might be googled it okay why the vapt is important why to learn it uh, what kind of a job opportunities are there but let me also you know quickly help you to you know understand about it right so first of all it is in high demand and a lot of different cyber threats also you know uh, increasing maybe if you if i wanted to make you understand or wanted to show you uh, some of this some of the data breaches you know which which have happened recent times there is a website called 
information beautiful slash visualizations and world's biggest data breaches you can see that uh, so here we'll get to see you know various uh, data breaches which have happened on year on year with a good graphical representation right so i can give this link in the chat you guys can also go and take a look into it okay so when you click on this bubbles right you will understand uh, how the attack has happened what sort of a sensitive information got stolen and where the sensitive information is available etc i mean we might also be one of the client or customer to uh, these all the you know uh, companies of course our data is also might be part of it our usernames passwords or um, you know address etc etc even there are websites which can help you to uh, even check okay yourself if if your personal details got out in any one of the data which okay i can also give you that uh, website called as a uh, have i been found So you can go to this website called Have Been Bond. So once you go to this website, you can give your email address over here. It will, it has, uh, you know, list of all the hacked account linked. It will check, and it will let you know if, in case if, if your, uh, you know, user details are out with any one of the data breach. If you have any red flags, guys, immediately go and change your password, and don't use the same password for all the accounts. Right. If that is the case, let's say if you're using the same password for Facebook, okay. If that got breached, attackers can use the same username and password to log in into the other accounts as well. Right. So, right. So, growing cyber threats. Just I have given an example of uh, the kind of data breaches which are happening in the recent time, and. Uh, you know the increasing number of cyber attacks has uh, you know heightened the demand of a uh, demand for the skilled professionals who can identify and mitigate the vulnerabilities the cost of the cyber uh, crime is expected to reach 10.5 trillions annually by 2025 up from the 3 trillion in the 2015 so the attacks are increasing okay the next biggest thing i can say is of course you know cyber attacks uh, right and of course, uh, for the compliance uh, requirement, okay, because the kind of uh, business that they deal with, they have, they, they must be compliance with some of the uh, regulatories, okay. If they are not doing so, of course, this, uh, you know, uh, they have to pay the uh, fines and all. And now, nowadays, every business also, uh, you know, transform to digital, uh, digital only, right? So from the uh, ordering okay uh, payment um, what else okay so most of the businesses are moved to the digital platform so you know securing those applications network and data becomes the very very critical for the organization and 89 percent of all the companies have already adopted the digital uh, first business strategy or a plan right and what about the career opportunities once you complete this course? So you can apply for a junior penetration tester or senior penetration tester, depending on you know the skill what you have at that moment. The more you practice and the more hands-on experience you have, you can directly apply for the pen tester, or you can directly start your career as a junior penetration tester, ethical hacker, security consultant, vulnerability assessor, or information. Uh, a security analyst or security engineer there are a few more roles are also added but i have not included into this slides right so yeah so you can apply for all of this uh, roles guys once you complete your training and what else we have yeah industry demand of course uh, there are over 
five lakhs unfilled cyber security positions in the US alone. Okay, and the global cyber cyber security workforce needs to grow by one forty five to meet the demand. And once you have the skills right, once you have the good skills, I can say in this particular domain we have a zero unemployment rate. Okay, I mean you might be feeling that okay, uh, the openings are there, the competition is also there because of the high demand. People, I mean many people are also applying, but only the skilled people are getting shortlisted and they are they are getting uh, you know onboarded into the organization. So learn, focus on you know acquiring the skills. uh you know practice it read the blogs okay uh, read the books so definitely you are going to get the job if in case if someone is new fresher you know wanted to you know maybe uh, get into it you should you must have the good skills i can say to convince an experienced people to you have to compete with the experienced person right so yeah career growth cyber security jobs posting have increased by 94% okay in the last 6 years uh, and there are a lot of opportunities worldwide i can say right and also impactful work 84% of the cyber security professionals are satisfied with their jobs and feels they are making some difference because you are helping uh, the organizations to secure them right so these are some of the stats guys now let's understand what skills are required i think i have explained this uh, initially when we are discussing the table of content but of course you know some of the technical skills like networking basics understanding about the linux operating system and basic programming language or how to handle the tools okay so these are the some of the technical skills are required of course these things also Uh, we are covered as a part of this course and we'll be starting with the uh, basics only like we'll start with the fundamental terminologies we'll make you understand all the concepts first theoretically then we'll explain you networking uh, how to how to how to uh, you know deal with the linux operating system how to create the virtual environment okay so all the basics we'll be first covering you then of course even you require some of the uh, soft soft skills as also okay so you should have a good analytical uh, thinking right uh, because always new vulnerabilities new techniques uh, will be coming up so you should also have that uh, you know mindset you know critical thinking mindset i can say to solve the complex problems try and attention to the details okay uh, like when you are taking uh, Maybe a requirement, or when there is any new vulnerabilities coming up, so you should have that, uh, you know, observation skills, and also good communication skills. When I say good, uh, okay, if you have normal communication skills also, that is fine, uh, because you are not going for any sort of a marketing job, right? You are going for a technical job. If you can able to communicate the things what you are doing, one whatever you have identified. to your manager or your client that is fine right later you can improve uh, you know the the communication skills guys and curiosity and continuous learning okay so always new vulnerabilities new tools new techniques will be developing okay so you should have that curiosity uh, you know hacker kind of a mindset to learn the things guys right these are the some of the soft skills that you should or you required you know to get into it okay so and for the people who are maybe you know having some sort of a questions related to the lab setup right so as i said i am going to help you out to create own lab setup in your system itself okay i am going to help you to create your own lab in your system itself um uh, so it's like see uh, it's like you will have your own attacker machine okay to learn all of these skills uh, as i said we are going to learn them as an attacker so you know you should have a linux operating system this is an attacker system and 
few operating systems which are like target uh, operating systems. So first we'll start with the vulnerable operating systems. Right, we'll start with the a vulnerable operating system. Then we will go and perform uh, or or you know use these techniques on the real uh, systems. Right, when I say vulnerable systems, uh, like either you can take an operating system, install some sort of a weak uh, you know services in it or weak softwares in it, and you try to exploit them. You create your own vulner you create your own vulnerable system. Uh, let's say by disabling the firewall or installing some sort of uh, malicious softwares in it by opening certain ports okay with the legacy uh, version of the services and etc or uh, we have uh, already you know some of the vulnerable operating systems which are created for people to learn okay various attacks for an example we have something called metasploitable Okay, this is a basic machine that we can use it to start it for learning the network related attacks. Uh, we have something called game over. Okay, this is for uh, practicing all the application related attacks. Even you can use online labs also. Okay, for the people who don't want it to, uh, you know, install uh, you know, many, uh, many systems in your network like this, you can use the online uh, uh, you know websites and online targets as well so in this course we are going to use the car linux operating system right so no worries if someone is very new to it as i said i'll teach you from the very very scratch uh, so this is i mean if you go to this kali.org right this is a place where you will get this car linux operating system this is an open source tool and it is a debian based linux distribution this is for people who are working as a penetration tester, security researchers, computer forensic. Okay, it has all the tools, most of the tools I can say pre installed in it. Okay, you don't need to again, uh, you know, go through, uh, I mean, you don't need to, you know, spend your time uh, for installing, you know, different, different tools whatever the tools are required for us to get into the security or get started with this course all the tools are here you can click on this download and then here you will have the Linux for the various platforms right the one which we are going to use it is this one okay so you know so what i have done is on top of my local host operating system this is my windows right okay on top of this windows operating system i have created a virtualization layer with the help of the software called as a oracle uh, virtual box manager this is also open source tool only so we'll be using most of the open source tools only and community editions or trial version tools to learn all of uh, all of the different concepts so you know what i have done i have done the virtualization so on top of my os i have installed the vm on top of the vm i have installed the kali linux and other uh, operating systems uh, okay other operating systems the, you know the sequence is like this so you know this the the tool which i have used to create the virtualization is oracle virtual box manager this is also free you will get it uh, but you can go to virtualbox.org okay from this particular place you will be able to download it it's like installing the different i mean other operating systems inside your local host right so we will use one is Kali Linux operating system. Like as I said, it's an attacker system. And we will use and download and install either let's say Windows 7 or Metasploitable 2 or Game Over or any other vulnerable operating system to practice uh, all the concepts, right? So most of the things are uh, practical only. Uh, first few sessions, you will have theory to you know connect 
all your dots or clear your doubts uh, then we can directly you know get started uh, with all the concepts uh, in a practical way itself right so to create you know this kind of a lab in your local network uh, this is a requirement okay what is the requirement the requirement is uh, at least you should have i5 or amd ryzen fire higher version of the processor 8 to 16 gb ram is recommended for the better performance and this memory of course if someone has ssd or sdd that is also fine so operating system either you should have windows 10 or 11 as your local host operating system on top of that as i said we are going to install the vm okay so on that vm we'll be installing the different operating systems like this one is an attacker system like Kali Linux operating system okay and one is let's say windows or some other uh, operating system so from this operating system uh, we'll be performing all the attacks on this okay in, in the real time uh, you know you will have your own actual uh, target but to start uh, start with you can start with this kind of environment okay to learn how to use and how to work with these tools and techniques okay once you have a good understanding of it or you can directly uh, work on the real time right so i think i have given enough information about the course uh, now i'll leave this forum or I'll, I'll i'll just wait for your questions guys i'll take i'll take your questions Okay, uh, if someone is having MacBook, that is fine. You will be able to uh, set up the lab. Any coding knowledge is required? No, uh, it's good to have if in case if you have, uh, yeah. Because we are penetration testers, right? So when you're working as a tester, it is not required because we use and deal with different tools uh, but maybe in future if you'd like to get into product security or you know wanted to move to the uh, step ahead in your career yeah coding is required but not now when you wanted to be yourself into testing or using with some sort of a tool yeah you can work comfortably without the knowledge of uh, any kind of coding Whatever you have showed one book, right? In that uh, some mention name like Python. So that's what I'm asking. Any long ways is required. Yeah, I said basic basics because the tools what we use it, right? They they might be written in Python or Bash, right? So yeah, for that I have mentioned that it's good to have the basic knowledge. Basic means uh, currently not uh, don't not know about. Not at all required. Not at all. 